Good morning from BBC London and BBC South East today. Joining forces at breakfast to keep you up to date with the latest on the coronavirus. Now people are being urged to join a national round of applause for NHS staff at 8 o'clock this evening in a campaign started by a woman from London. The Clap for Our Carers event was created by Anne-Marie Flair from Brixton after similar schemes abroad. The idea is to show appreciation for all those working hard in the health service during the crisis. I want everybody here in the UK to be hanging out of their balconies, in their front doors, and then not to blow up each other, obviously. We're even on the sofa at 8 pm on Thursday night, clapping, making noise, with stamping your feet, using pumps and pads. Sorry for all the kids that are going to be waking up. Now, there's a warning from the fire service this morning for the millions of people now working from home. The London Fire Brigade is concerned there could be an increase in home fires because more people are spending time indoors. It's urging people not to overload sockets or use incorrect chargers for devices. Scientists at Imperial College in London and the University of Kent are going to start working together to try and find a way to treat the virus. The research project will develop antibodies which could target COVID-19 and help the immune system destroy it. The teams are hoping to get the therapy ready for clinical trials to see if they can treat the infection. The RNLI has stopped its beach lifeguard patrols for the foreseeable future. Lifeguards had been due to start their seasonal duties this weekend across the southeast, but the charity has suspended all patrols in case they encourage people to visit beaches. Now, the family of a six-year-old French boy who suffered multiple injuries when he was thrown from the 10th floor of the Tate Modern Art Gallery in London have said their smiling little boy is coming back to them. A teenager, John T. Bravery, is awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty to attempted murder. His victim, who can't be named for legal reasons, is now able to sit up, eat soft food and hold a stick. Let's get a check on the weather now with Dean Williams. It's a cold start to the day, but we are expecting it to stay fine and dry. Lots of sunshine once again, with those blue skies taking us into the afternoon, perhaps feeling a little cooler than it did yesterday. But not a great deal is changing in our weather day by day. We've got 